almost anything else. Is the that are going to be utilizing that space in the first the floor? In the mm -hmm. There's not one particular. It's going to be already set up, so like, like a health fair. So like, one month once wants to come in. Right. So it's the community. So it's not one. It's not one. one. Like there is, uh, and I guess some examples that I can give you is we have um, the Diabetes Association. American Diabetes Association has an office there. Um, to All the family services, Projecto Jardin, YMCA. Um, right, YMCA. So there's a non 15 nonprofits that have an array of services to assist the community in just educating and actually offering classes and knowledge um, of other available health services. So they are a permanent fixture there, more or less. Do you have a list on those nonprofits and are they hiring within the community and going outreaching for the community for you know jobs and within there? Um, you know, I don't have that knowledge today as I'm sitting here today, but uh -huh. we can certainly give you that information I would really like, I would really and let like like you know this. how that's working. But sure. well, we can get that to you. Yeah, but I can do some community outreach myself. Yes, sure. They have office space. They have office space there. They aren't just a fair that comes on a Saturday or a weekday or a week. They actually have office in the building. Um, we have an agreement with the LEC USC Medical Center Foundation. So the foundation is the one who's organizing the nonprofit organization to be in that area. So we're working with the foundation for them to organize those nonprofits to have annual office space there. You know, our regular business hours and some kind of well. That's uh, a collaboration with USC then, LA County USC. <coughs> No, that's good. Uh, this is why you have these meetings. So I think I think you can see that, that this is a master plan with master plans embedded in it. You know, we could have a whole there. There could be a whole professional study about general hospital building, just that itself, and probably there will be someday. But that's not for us to decide. <laughs> But anyway, so these are rather complex, and I just want you to think in terms of, of this as a master plan. This is trying to provide an armature. Obviously, the biggest question in all of this potentially is something like that women's and children's hospital. You can see there would be some changes in this diagram uh, if that became a, a focus to be kept. Uh, but I think um, you know the, the point of a plan like this is to be flexible, and you would find another way this great axis here would then end on the entrance to that building rather than just going through to the corner. So the plan would still in a different way make sense. And that's what we try to do. We're trying to create an overall framework that can work with changes over time. Um, and the end of it, it's going to take years, you know, doing this and doing that to get this to happen and changes will, will happen. What we'd like to years. More than that, you said it will take years. <laughs> no, there are things. It's been important to us to try. To, it's been important to us to have something happen right away, and, and fortunately, uh, the district has the wellness center starting, so we can say, you know, that wasn't even part of this. I mean, that was happening before we started this planning process, but it's great. You know, now we have something right in the center of the whole project that's going to happen in January. So we want to build on that kind of thing and try to have the momentum. So we're looking very carefully. Well, what can we do? and keep some level of flexibility. So anyway, that's the, the overview. You know, there would be uh, a mix of uses in here, uh, including research, medical research, possibly education. This part of the plan in terms of function is very flexible. This might be a new inpatient, I mean outpatient uh, uh, service center. This might be county offices that serve the public that are part of this, uh, this whole medical complex. And at the center here, we want to have a, a, a beautiful entry point into the project for public activities. Well, We're calling that the marketplace. Um, and the idea is that um, we would create a center right on Marengo here where you would not go just to have medical services. There would be other other public gathering activities. Uh, will there yeah. be not sufficient parking here? You mentioned earlier when you mentioned the services also. So there would be a parking structure possibly? Yeah, we're including major parking uh, in a new structure here. Okay, so you're actually um, got it on the, on the drawing board basically as far as there will be parking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 
and then uh, under these buildings, uh, uh, additional parking is considered back here in the medical services area. Uh, so there, there is a plan for keeping the parking numbers going up as we add functions to the site. So anyway, this uh, this first element we're going to show you, this marketplace uh, pedestrian mall. Uh, the second is a kind of series of spaces going in this direction around a kind of green center. Uh, then there's the uh, medical campus itself with its current main entrance. Um, and then uh, the, the General Hospital Wellness Center, with a lot of focus on this plaza here at the moment, where the Wellman Wellness Center will have a kind of main entry point. <coughs> with the previous outline, the one that's down there, uh, the reservoir, is that, whose property is that? Is that, is that being gone in? It's not a county property. It's, it's up on the hill. That's, that's, that's off the map over here. Yeah. Or sorry, I'm sorry. It's off the map over there. Anyway. No, you're right. You're right. Oh, right. Okay. Don't get me confused. Um, I'm trying to present. Um, yes. Trying to first start with this kind of Sokolo-like major public space, and we're imagining 
you know, a range of activities from uh, fitness kind of activities to market activities to even shops and, and like kind of retail. Uh, so this was a this was a, a, a kind of an early vision for that, where you would have that kind of Sunday market activity. You'd have cafes, uh, outdoor tables, uh, and a walkthrough, very open space that you walk through, possibly using shipping containers as new building elements to create small shops and, and functions that can change over time. Maybe things like a display of public announcements. And through there, uh, looking through, you will see, if you've been over the site, you know there's that uh, kind of interesting bridge tunnel structure that runs like an aqueduct through, through the site. And we want to preserve that uh, as a connector and as a kind of element of historic architecture. The next, uh, so that would then lead, would lead you into the center of the site where there would be a kind of park-like center. Uh, and, and again, with along the, the lines of this existing bridge tunnel element, uh, a link uh, east and west that brings you up the hill to the plaza up here. So that, and that uh, space has more park-like activities, uh, gatherings, events, um, outdoor seating, uh, and uh, we think some uh, community gardens, which we're thinking actually of having on the rooftop of the parking structure that set up uh, this first phase uh, parking structure. So let's say, thinking of phasing, we get this parking structure to happen at first. That rooftop links very closely to this plaza where, opening in January, uh, you will have the Wellness Center. So thinking of, of how we will kind of build on to the existing things that you'll have next year, one of the first things that would happen would be the parking structure with the community gardens on top, and that would connect directly to this. Even if we haven't done this part down here, you know, you'll have a new part to the plan that will add on to something that's existing there. So we get, start to get connected, connection between activities. Anyway, that central area, as I said, is very park-like. Here's this historic um, uh, bridge tunnel. Uh, the base of it is opened up so you can walk through it. It provides an upper-level link through the site. We would have a, a kind of a surface water retention area as part of our landscape plan. And we would improve the existing landscape on the hill and extend that with this uh, walkway coming through some kind of events pavilion and you see the, the general hospital building up on the hill. And there will eventually be new office spaces on either side. So this is really, while it looks like a grand park-like space, in some ways it's a, it's a very carefully balanced open space versus other kinds of uses. Um, and then uh, we do see improvements to the medical care uh, functions. We're looking at uh, trying to build on some of the character of the existing entry plaza here with uh, urban landscape, creating a new and expanding this existing entrance, which will now serve both the hospital and expanded functions like uh, outpatient. And that, um, we don't have the street level rendering of, but the focus there will be on this uh, front entry area, keeping uh, some of the existing qualities, reworking some of the traffic, adding a bridge across, linking these new buildings and the, and the new parking, which it would be over here to the left, which would replace the surface parking lot here, but also add a lot more uh, cars uh, in a very discreet sort of way. Um, and finally, uh, where the wellness center is going here at General Hospital, we created kind of a, uh, there, will, you know, there will be multiple uses, some um, fitness act activities, children's activities, uh, sort of uh, functions like the YMCA will have a, have a place there. So there will be all the, all the activities of those 15 nonprofits, uh, some of which have outdoor uh, functions going on in this plaza. The plaza is a historic plaza, but we're looking at it as an adaptive reuse, so we want to introduce new activities there. Uh, it's not just a place you walk through. Um, so we created a, a, an overview, an aerial view, Here's that plaza. It's just sort of if we were somewhere in the in the uh, general hospital building up on one of the upper floors, looking out across the site. So, if the, so this uh, existing plaza, which will be open in January, will connect down through to this green space. This is that bridge tunnel coming across the site to the lower site, 
and down there, uh, the entry plaza and the kind of alley that takes you through in that direction. This is the old pharmacy building, which we see reusing, and through there, the coroner's building is back in there now. Our, our, our vision is that someday the coroner won't be there, there'll be other new uses there <coughs> at some point in the future, but there's no immediate plans for that. So here's that plaza, and then across, so, well, they don't want to move, they, they've invested money and so on. So. Yeah. We're not showing anything new there. Yeah. why we talk so, about things stretching out 20 just, years and more, you know. Just so you know, I didn't yeah. just dump all that money in there and now I'm going to work it out. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, Actually, you know, like that. So, there are things the design team wants <laughs> that the county is less enthusiastic about. So. <laughs> questions, but I do want to introduce uh, Julio Torres, who's here from Council Member Wizar's office. Did he leave? Okay. <laughs> All right. He did show up. So, um, why don't we do questions um, and comments? But one thing I want to make sure that we talk about next steps, so everyone knows where we are in the process as well. So. Maybe you want to talk about next steps first, or do you want to do it at the end again? We'll just uh, field questions for now. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll start off at the end. Questions? The tunneling. The story of all that tunneling, what's going to happen to uh, all the secret tunnels? Don't you watch them out there? Yes. <laughs> yes. We're going to take 
tunnels, please. Wash them off. Um, so we are investigating all the tunnels, um, and we are investigating if it's, if, depending on what the tunnel is used for, we are investigating um, upgrading the infrastructure, because I know there's a tunnel from USC over to the juvenile um, court area, and juvenile hall court area, because for steam, if you will, and electricity, and power, and water. So we're actually investigating that tunnel now because we'll need to upgrade that those utilities depending on what that future site is at what we call East Lake, right, the juvenile. So you mentioned juvenile hall. Is, is, are you pulling them in in any way in the next 20 years, or are they going to they going to remain there? We've coordinated all um, <coughs> the current thinking we're working on with those surrounding. So we've been in coordinating, communicating not only with the medical campus but also with the state on East Lake and, and the court system. Today, I can't tell you what's going to happen in the future like that. We are in discussions with the state. You're thinking, obviously, you just kind of infer that you might, there might be some action there. Well, it depends on what the state wants to do, right? Oh, okay. Facilities have been transferred to yeah. the state. So it really depends on what the state is, what, where they are in their whole relocation of the court system. One last question and I'll be quiet. That's okay. Uh, All the questions are perfectly great. The Can everyone hear them? desire to continue to expand their campus to take any of, the, of those, uh, yeah. any of that land. Yeah, we, are you in touch with heard, them? We are in touch with them. We've heard what their, we know what their plan looks like. Their plan is very ambitious about working with the county and taking over those properties. Right. Um, uh, today, I can't tell you, I haven't heard anything about those other than we they contacted us, mm -hmm. the county. Um, so I don't know where that is in the process. But should USC and the county enter into some kind of agreement, either transferring those properties or selling those properties, the county would want something back, right? Somewhere so, else. So somewhere else. So for instance, I'm gonna get up here a while. Don't let them do it. No, I don't want to. No way at all. So, but 
I have to plan for the future. What I don't want to do is something that the county has done before. The county in the past has said, okay, we need to build a new building. And so I'm gonna plot, I got a piece of property here, I'm gonna plot the building here. And not look at the future growth area or the needs. And so I don't wanna do that anymore with county space. I don't wanna just plop a building there and then landlock myself. Because exactly what you said about the corners building down here. I just dumped, we just dumped a bunch of money into there. Why would I tear it down and move it? That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe in 30 years, when that, the new facility that I've just upgraded needs to be upgraded again, because the building is now over, right? So those types of things are what you don't hear in these presentations is a whole year of those discussions and meetings going back and forth, where we've met every two weeks or at least once a month to talk about those things, where I understand the entire county asset program, and strategically where each of the, the county facilities are and what's happening in that community. Because I can't just focus in one community, I have to focus the entire county region and the timing of that and the placement of that. So there's steps that you all don't hear about that I know about, but I'm glad you're asking the questions so I can tell you that we're look, working with the LA Conservancy, not only on the LAC campus, but also on the Rancho campus. I'm, and I've worked with the LA Conservancy at Grand Park, which was my project, to save the historic fountain. And, you know, I've, so I've worked with all of them throughout all the county older facilities. So those things I know, those are my jobs and daily activities. And I'm glad you're asking that, because I can communicate to that to you, that I've done those. But if there's any other suggestions as we're talking about these things, one of the things that it's a, I want to hear, which is why I come to the community. I just don't want to hear from my consultants, which are very good note takers, and I hear that on some of the ones that I can't attend. But if I can attend, I want to hear, and I want to have the interaction. So one of the things that I heard consistently, and I've always had a problem with the Met Center, because when this new campus was built, I was the project manager. I started that project. I built that. I demolished the buildings. I built it with the contractor. I was one of the sample tests on the gurney to when we were moving patients from the big G down to the new facility. Although I told them all, don't let go of me because I know I'm on a hill and I said no to you once, so don't let go of me on the gurney <laughs> as a test patient. I know what you want, guys want to do because I said no to you. I do say no to them. I say no to the sheriff. When he wants something in a sheriff's thing, I say no. Leave a budget, to stay here, I say no. They say, the sheriff sometimes says, I have a gun, I say, I have a red pen, you know, I have a red pen, my red pen prompts your gun, I don't care. Because there's rules and there's processes. And we hear the community. So one of the two most important things I hear heard here over the last year, and especially from the community, and my issue is parking. Confusion on the campus with wayfinding and accessibility. There's a lot of signage out there on that campus that hasn't been taken down for years. So if you get on that campus, it's confusing. It's confusing for me, and I know them. All the buildings and where I need to go. So I can only imagine for a community member who's new or who's coming to the site for the first time how confusing it is and where do I go. So that's one of the three most important things I heard at the community meeting. And for my arc, for our architectural firm and team to come up with ideas, not just to put a concrete block building here and have it be very institutional, institutional looking, but to come, what I call camouflage it, is for a, you know, a four-story <coughs> parking structure here, dealing with elevations, and also greening it. So it's not just a parking structure. That bothers me. There's a parking structure up here, right? You all know this one at the corner of up here. I want to eventually take that one out. I may put it back, but we may green it. We may put green binding on the sides. So, so it's, you know, you know nowadays, it's so much more architecturally 
nice to work with new buildings because we can do things that camouflage it. You can put civic art on the outside. You can do kind of different things. That's what we're trying to do here. But also have feedback from, from the communities, you all, to know that we're on the right path. And we're addressing those things that if, when you go to the campus, you have trouble with. I don't want to just sit in an office. I don't just sit in an office. I'm out on my construction projects directing traffic, on my hard hat on, my steel toed shoes. I'm out there. I just don't sit in my office. That bothers me. And my staff's here, so she can tell you. She can barely find me. Yes. So, um, you're planning on a new building. Is there plans for having a gym there? Uh, like a, not right. just classes, but an actual. Right. Online. And so we're looking at some of these buildings will have, especially what John was saying, down in here, where we want this open space area to be, and maybe down in this building, and maybe some back in here, is a place where we could enter into what we call private public partnerships with businesses. Like, restaurants, like cafes, like a gym, where there's benefit for the community to come in not only for this campus, this part of the campus, 24-7, really, and make it an active area. So there are all those communications and those discussions going on within the county and within outside the county. So this is the very first part of this process, right? I still have to take this plan and this idea, if you will, to the Board of Supervisors for their approval. I still have to do an environmental document. So this is the very first part of this process. This won't be the last 